All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Know It All DM Entertainment. I'm Know It All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great hanging out with Broman and Fragalot, who are just returning from Hello. picking Broman up from the Planetary Remnant. How you guys doing? Good. We are here on the Leviathan, and uh, we've got quite a bit of stuff to... Uh, get done we uh, i've actually gotten a whole lot of stuff done on the ship and now we just have some stuff to get done off the ship to uh disassemble our old capital vessels and our old base and everything like that yeah we're here we're here, we're here. welcome to the leviathan bro man Did I park it right oh I parked it a little off what? No, no at all. We'll fix it. Just a bit to the right. Starboard. Yeah. I am lagging. You're always lagging. So, our ships are over here. Here's the little dolls. This is yours. And mine's over here, the red one. Yeah, you don't need your personal... Uh... Uh, flashlight going right now because we have plenty of lights or your helmet yeah. so uh yeah welcome to the leviathan uh this is of course our uh shuttle bay um the engineering is right over here this is the power center of the leviathan oh yeah did you put more extra fuel in these no in what? In these little side bits here. Uh, over on the other side. The one on the top. Oh. If you look at the one on the top up here, you'll notice it's got biofuel. And then on the other side, you've got from top to bottom fuel Run. cells, large fuel cell cells, large uh, hydrogen cells, and then the small ones. So oh, good. Yes. Are these these aren't accessible in the in the control panel? No, the, no, they're not. Oh. But you know that way you have someone in here who can access them. Run! Yeah, don't hang out there for long. Yeah, it, in here's radiated. That's why I have these armor lockers here where you can grab radiation suits if you're going to be working in this area for extended times, you know, working with the Pentaxid tanks or the fuel tanks or whatever. you sneaky shower. Yeah. Say what, bro, man? This looks a lot better than the... Than the stuff than the Enterprise, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so it's a more room. This is the only generator on the entire vessel, but it powers the entire vessel. Yeah, it's all you need for this entire capital vessel. It, this is like max tier. It's like nearly. It's just under ten million. Yes. However, keep in mind about eight million of that is the tier two the RCSs. Yes. <laughs> Do RCSs take a lot of power? No. What? I have them shut off when the uh, engines are off and everything, but, uh, okay. they, you know, they take about as much power as a regular thruster. Um, so... How fast is this thing? Say what? How fast is it? Uh, it can go as fast as any capital vessel, up to 100 meters per second in the in space. Yeah, we're going like 130 in an SV... 129. Yeah, you can go up to one. I think 130 is the max in an SV. Uh, mine can boost to 140, I think, or a little bit. Boosts can go faster. I think boosts can yeah. go up to 200, but you have to really? have a lot of boosts. Yeah, I just have a couple. So, this room up here, this is the brain of the ship. Remember the Matrix? Oh. That's a brain. It's a brain. It. <laughs> brain. Oh, you fell. He's in the void. But yeah, this has the core and uh, all four of the. Uh... Yeah, don't do that. You're gonna get hurt. You're, you've got two generate two grav generators working against you right now. 
Um, but it's got all four of the oh, CPU wow. extenders and the core in the brain. Doesn't the room, this room look weird to turn the power off? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. it's just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This looks like it's the or just cerebro. It's, kind of. it's it's the loading room in the matrix. Yeah, for, I, I yeah. basically made it so that it looks like it's an extra dimensional space. I love that. So if you come one level down right here and go forward of the ship here. Oh yeah. You've got the sick bay on one side. Over here. There he is. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so if you're injured or whatever, you can use the medical station over here, or you can use these small med stations and all to uh, to heal any ailments you have. Across the hallway here is the transporter room. And locker room. Yeah, it's the transporter and locker room. And so these are your lockers here. Um, you can access the uh, armor storage box, which is in the cargo bay through the control panel, and build yourself a uh, an EAV uh, suit, and you can build, or a e EVA suit, and uh, or combat armor or whatever you want. But I, uh, you know, try to limit the amount of armors. I've got three armors. I've got my light armor, which is my uh, my around the ship armor. I've got a medium armor, which is my EVA with an EVA oxygen tank and a radiation protection boost. And then I've got a heavy armor that has all four armor boosts on it. So he took all the armor boosts. Yeah, but I'm also the one who's you know been going right up into the you know battle most of the time on on the ground, alongside with other people. But yeah, say what? Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So in here, in here is the teleporter. But to activate it, you got to turn the switch yeah, on. You got to turn this switch on, which will activate the teleporter when you stand on oh, it. That looks cool. I like that. The light. <laughs> yeah. It's on. Yep. And it's on whenever this door is open. So. All right. No one's trying to lock me in there. <laughs> no, the door's no. still open. Yeah. yeah. Um, that just turns off the tunnel. And so we each have our own armor locker and weapons locker. So you can unload your weapons in there or whatever you want just to, you know, so you don't have to carry as much around. Um, and when it comes to medicines, I'd like to try to leave all the medicines we can in the medical bay and then grab them before we go out on missions. Um, that way the medical bay is actually used for more than just the devices in there. And then, of course, up front here, we have the bridge. Yeah. Pretty view. It got darker, I think. Yeah, it's about the same. Maybe a little darker. Where'd you go? I don't know. Where'd Burman disappear to? Oh, yeah, he's over here filling up his O2. Yeah, so up front here we have the bridge, which has a really nice view right now. You can see the planet, you can see the moon, and you can see part of the station we're docked at. Oh my, that is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, this is Star Trek vibes. <laughs> yeah, well, this ship uh, is sort of a combination like of 
Star Trek and Farscape. Farscape. If you've never seen Farscape, do yourself a favor and watch it. Yeah, it's a great yeah. sci-fi. So back, hilarious. back here, we've got the crew quarters. On either side here, there are two crew quarters. I didn't shut them. I mean, so when I turned off when I, when I turned off the ship to show the brain room, they open oh, yeah, yeah. they yeah. close when I open it, turn it back on. Yours is the other side. And you can pick either one of them. Yeah. I, I colored one of them, but you can pick either one. Yeah, you can pick either one on the other side. There's already a closet in each one with deco that you can uh, utilize to outfit your orders. Mm -hmm. There you are. Yeah, so this one up here or back here has already got the green doors on it. But you can choose either one you want and we'll just color the doors whichever one you want. Um, while you're in here, you can flip this switch down to close the doors and then flip it back open to open them. Uh, that way, if you want privacy, you can just click and there you are. You're in your own little private room. And then you can utilize the devices in here, put them on your hotbar, and you can right-click, choose different devices, and just place them around. Um, and then you can use, what is it, uh, home, end, insert, and delete to rotate them. Right-click to change what the item is, too. So you can, you can change it from, like, a computer desk to a bed to bunk beds to yeah. sofa couches, etc. And if you need to pick something up and reposition it, then, you know, we can use a multi-tool to pick it up, and then you can re-change what it is or whatever. You have a drill and a multi-tool? I know he's got a yeah. drill because he was using one before. I don't know about a multi-tool. I think I gave him one, though. I do. Okay. All right, cool. But yeah, once you have your room outfitted, it'll be your room and you can store whatever you want in there and, you know. You were going to do it. I saw you. <laughs> well, I, all I have is the multi-tool and the color tool. So... <laughs> You killer my drone. I can't. It won't let no. me. Where's your drone? <laughs> Fortunately, right now we're in a PVE area and he's not going to damage the... Uh, ship if he misses. Sweat. He can't load up? No. Wait. That's at zero half, but I can't do it. That's weird. <laughs> Maybe they yeah. changed it so that the drones don't get blown up in PvE He's Use my sniper. Use my sniper. Nope. All right, uh, <laughs> take take the drone away and bring it back. Yeah, it just goes to zero and then just stops. They've been aliens been watching your videos and they they got rid of our. Well, but yeah. here's the thing: does the drone get killed by enemy fire now? That would be cool. It always did. Every time a turret would shoot up my drone, it would or yeah. Like a, well, now he, here's the thing: maybe. Maybe they made it so that uh, PV on, on in PVE areas, just like you can't damage your friends, the drones don't get destroyed that way. So maybe we can tell you if PVE mode is on or not. I don't remember. Um, if you look on the le bottom left, you'll see right next to the Wi-Fi thing, there's a little thing that says PVP. If it's yeah. lit up, you're in a PVP oh, area. I don't see it lit up. It's not. So back here, we've got yep. the garden and mess hall. Whenever you see things that can be picked, pick them, pick them, and then put them in their proper uh, 
put them in their proper uh, thing. Because when you pick them, you gain experience. So picking like these buds here, you can pick them. When these buds are shiny and everything like they are now, you can pick them and then you'll get XP for it. You'll eventually learn how they look when they're uh, pickable. Like right now, these are the plant fibers are pickable. The wheat's not, and the uh, the aloe's not yet. Oranges the, are. The next thing that's going to be pickable is going to be the aloe and then the wheat, and maybe the mushrooms and the spice. But uh, if you look in the control panel. Put the uh, plant fibers and fruit. The, put the plant fibers and aloe in the medical input. Put everything else in the food input, and then we'll. I'll sometimes move some mushrooms over to the medical input. And then back here, past the garden, we have the uh, mess hall. Where did Broman go? There he is. Oh, yeah. Trying to find the inputs. <laughs> oh, I've got sp oh, yep. Spoiled food can be. Yeah. Uh, spoiled food can be put in the medical one. What about the buds? Put the buds in the food. The food input. Really, right now, spoiled food is kind of useless because we're not growing anything, but I will end up using the medical uh, constructor to make more if we need it, so. But Do we you want to make it for another uh, shipyard somewhere else? Uh, well, probably not a shipyard, but we will end up, uh, I'm going to be designing a... Uh, a refinery which has the yeah, yeah. Uh, furnace and uh, and deconstructors like the shipyard does and I'm going to have it so that you can land at it and then walk across to it if you need to um, with the Leviathan so that basically it's a you know it, it's got a landing pad and then it's just you know furnace All right, so back here, Berman is the mess hall. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my, this looks really nice. Super. <sighs> what? what? Oh my God. <laughs> He's using You're his right. his multi tool rotate. to rotate it. Yep. All right. I want it so that when you sit down, these two are facing away from the windows. That one's facing the window. Okay. There we go. Yeah, this one's wrong, I think. Or nope, that's right. Because this one, when you sit down, you're facing away from the window, and then this one's facing the window. This one's facing away from the window. Okay. That way you can see the guy you're sitting next to. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, so this constructor over here, this food processor, I would be using for uh, uh, things food. like dino stew and such. And this one over here, I've been making uh, rations with emergency rations. So yeah, grab a few and hang on. Yeah, I usually hold on to one or two emergency rations. Uh, I, I got three of them on me right now. So if you need emergency rations, they'll be in this fridge over here. Not that they need to be in a fridge. I just, it, it outputs to the fridge. Well, that's where they at. You can't output to like a closet or anything. Well, you can. You can output to one of these closets because these closets you can access on the control panel and through the oh. Wi-Fi. But just these, not okay. the not the other design of them. So. Flat one, the thin flat one. Yeah, the wardrobe you cannot, but the closet you can. Um, okay. This could be the world right now, world in ten years, <laughs> if everyone wears masks. So the spice is ready to pick now. As are the mushrooms. 
It didn't take long. And they all go into the food processor. Or, yeah, into the food input. Alright. And then the mushrooms over there. If you want to, what, what I usually do is I'll go into the, uh, into the Wi-Fi, access it, and then connect to it so that when you pick them, it automatically goes into them. That way you don't have to move them. At four. Uh... I forgot how to connect. Just F4 and, go and just yeah. use the drop room. And then, and then in the middle uh, thing, there's the little two plugs that you can oh, click the top and that'll connect to it. So you'll automatically pick it into them. Where have we not been yet? Down here? Right. We, we've only done this level and the one above it. I haven't shown him down here yet. There's two things, two levels, two spaces for the spikes. Is that not that supposed to be that way? Yeah, just put the spice in the food input. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and just, if you just shift click on it, it'll just send it over. Or if you click the, yeah, just shift click and it'll send the items over to the box. Rich. Where did everyone go? Over here. <laughs> we went down the stairs. Behind you. We're behind you. Hi. Hey. Uh, All right. So go down either of these staircases. And this is the constructor room. There are four constructors, all that pull from the central constructor uh, box, which is in the middle of this room, and they each output to the box next to them. In the corners here. And you can see what box, what constructor you're building from, so you know which box it's outputting in the control panel and all. The Leviathan has ribs. Yes, it yes, it does. Rip for her pleasure. <laughs> um. But yeah, because the Leviathan is a creature that was turned into a spaceship. Or really? if, I thought it was actually a, a spaceship creature or a space well, creature. Well, in, in uh, Farscape, the Leviathan is a biomechanoid, which is basically, it's a living creature that was created as a spaceship. In, right, because the pilot wasn't born with it, of course. Right. This version, this, in what I've, you know, designed it, it's basically the original ship they found was a living creature that was easily, tr uh, that could easily be changed into a spaceship. And so they did that and then started breeding them as these ships. So these oh. ships are going to look very different from the original creature, just similar. You know, the exterior yeah. looks different. The, there's a little bit different design on the exterior, but, you know, it's very similar. So, the, I'm sure you checked that she's not pregnant, right? Uh, <laughs> these ships are uh, non-gendered. Only the original ship can give birth. Okay. So. Okay. All right. So, I mean, okay. Is pregnant at all. Three humans. So, so I bet that yeah. well, there was an episode where the Leviathan gave birth. So. Yeah, it, it's not pregnant with a gunship Leviathan. <laughs> it is a gunship Leviathan. So, oh, so back here sense. we've got the hover vessel bay, which I've up, mm -hmm. I've with upgraded our SOVs. You've got the Mark One B over here, which is made to tear up trees and harvest large amounts of lumber really quickly. That is. And it's still a hover vessel, right? You couldn't put harvesters on it. Correct. This is still SV. a hover vessel. As is the scavenger over here, which we may or may not ever use again. 
Um, these, <laughs> these three guys. SOVs, <laughs> are, these are Mark IV SOVs. Unlike the Mark III's, these are actually small vessels, not hover vessels. So they can be used on the planet or in space, and they're a lot faster. Much faster. I might want to tone down the uh, controls a bit on them. I've already done that a little bit. I've turned down. Really? The, yeah, I've turned down the. Uh, what was it? The up and down. I think. Look at the statistics. The thicker for speed. Yeah, the pitch is at point yeah. four. Uh, the the pitch is at forty percent, and the roll is at ninety percent. So, but otherwise, it flew really, really weird. Yeah. Take it, to take it out for a spin. I think it's open. Yeah, you should be able to take it out. Yeah, I took it out earlier. Oh my, she is fast. They're all fully yeah. fueled and fully oxygenated. Ow, you ran into me. Whoops. Well, Frag ran into me. I was up. We all ran into me. <laughs> That's the best. These can go up to 125 meters per second, and they are extremely maneuverable, so you don't run into any asteroids. But when you find a mineable asteroid, you can, uh, you, you know, activate your drills and mine it, and they've got a slightly smaller capacity than the Mark III's to make make room for the thrusters and everything they needed. Uh, the, these asteroids over here are non mineable Correct. These asteroids yeah. are just giant plastic asteroids that that aren't really <laughs> asteroids. They're just decorations that some cosmic being put into here to fool us into thinking we had mineable resources when we don't. Oof. This is, these are, wow, that is just like so little thing I need to do to move. Yeah, I know, right? Like I said, they're super maneuverable, they're super fast, and uh, they can go planet side, they can go uh, in space, and they own, they don't use nearly as much energy when mining as the uh, Mark III does. Really? Huh. They, they have a uh, extra generator. Nice. Oh, oh they have a, a full size and an extra small one. Yeah. Well, they they, they have two full size ones. Ah, the, the Mark, I see. The Mark III had one full size one. And that's just to compensate for the energy drain from the drills, huh? Drills, thrusters, all that. Yeah. Wait a minute. I am like turning. Like I was. Like I tried to go near an asteroid, and it turned automatically. It bumped into the asteroid, even though it didn't really bump into the asteroid. The collision on some of these asteroids are a little weird. Yeah, hitbox is weird. It's really weird because, like, you all can see me back now, right? No, we're inside the ship. We're inside the ship. We're not outside. Because, like, I'm right in front of the sh in front of the rock, a big asteroid, and I can go flying right to it, like I'm trying to crash, but then. Then the ship dodges. <laughs> Dodged. Like I did like a 170. Yeah. All right, come on back to the ship. We got one more room to show you. The cargo bay up front. And then, we we're, gonna, and then we're gonna start disassembling the command base. Which is right behind us. Oh, and dodging too fast. We want to link to the recycling, or is that yes? You want yeah, to you, you right? want to link to the uh, recycling on the small shipyard. Yeah. 
Is the uh, command base where I park it? Uh, no. Come, no. Park it on the Leviathan. Leviathan. Come across. Yeah, I did the same thing. I, I went into the command base. I was like, wait. I, I, <laughs> I smacked into it. There you are. Level out. Press O. Or hold O. Yeah. You want the first person view, it helps. Yeah, definitely. To... Hold up, there you go. Yeah, being that these are a little faster than the uh, Mark Threes, they're a little harder to dock if you haven't had practice. <laughs> Hi. Greetings. Yeah, go ahead and dock. I'm just waiting for them to uh, make uh, multi, not multi turret, but multi manual lasers for small vessels and hover vessels. You know, like the to do work rather than right, so rather they, than weapons, so that you can repair or disassemble or things like that. Rather than that'd be cool. Yeah, front, front mounted air. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be perfect for the your little so your little it, CV that you have in, in the other ship. Yeah, I mean, it also, that plus the SOVs would be perfect for that. Because I could then have a uh, worker SOV that has a, in fact, what I'd probably end up doing is Yay. creating one that has a third attachment, two lasers and one repair thing. So, yeah, nice parking job. All right. He did a good. I'm ready to tear this thing up. Uh, well, don't forget, we're going to need EVAs. Uh, but uh, first, let's go to the cargo the cargo bay back here in the back. Ow. I hoided myself. I hoided myself. Where's Bro Man? Behind me. Um, it's such a room. Um, I think I'm going. Yep. Yeah, uh, Come on through the constructor room around the constructors. There you are. And right on through here, through into the cargo bay. Ow. Okay. And this box over here, this black box, is where you'll find the armors and such that you can use uh, to set up your armors in your armor locker. So you're going to want to mm -hmm. make an EVA armor because we're about to go EVA and uh, and start disassembling the command base. Oh, I got to teleport around and get my EVA. I wonder what the heavy armor looks like. Heavy? I can show you. I mean, it, it looks cool. Yeah, where are you at? I'm in the locker room slash teleporter room. Transporter. Yep. I'm running. Yeah. Okay. I've got signs showing you where you need to go. <laughs> A little bit confusing. You just like look at the signs just that direction and go that way. The signs are it's it. up and down, so Yeah. Oh you got heavy for your EVA? No, he wanted to see what a heavy armor looked like. Oh. It kind of reminds me of a Centurion armor. It's really broad shoulders. Padded. Almost like a football uniform. I'm lost. <laughs> Come to the central elevator. There you are. Come up. Up, 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 up. Stop. Over here. 
<laughs> opening and closing the door. There you go. This is what a heavy armor looks like. With your plasma cannon. You look like a football player. Ah! Ow. <laughs> that hurt it. It hurt it. Except for it didn't really. True. Actually, I hurt myself earlier by falling down the stairs. Okay, did you pick up EVA boost? Yeah, I, I have okay. gotten All right. Hold on. I'm going to take my pulse rifle with me just in case something happens while we're out there, but I doubt it will. Doubt it, but something probably will happen when we're down. Actually, very likely will happen when we're down on the planet. Well, Speaking yeah, when I went down there, to te when I teleported down there to get the, uh, the uh, crops... There we had a uh, uh, base What's attack, that? and the uh, there's their uh, what do you call it the the troop transport came, and then just as I was teleporting away, another one was coming. So, so it's probably it's probably hanging around waiting for us to come back. Probably I run fast. All right, so bro man, once you have your EVA suit set up and equipped. You're going to want a multi-tool, uh, preferably tier two, and you're going to want yeah. to go into the Wi-Fi, connect to the small shipyard recycling bin, and connect to that. Oh, the, the ship is still powered. We should, we should probably suck out all the, all the fuel. Yeah. You can do that. Linked up. All right, so. Ooh, I almost lost Wi Fi too far from, even though I'm right next to the ship. You're too far from the emitters. Maybe, yeah, maybe we should move the, the command base a little closer to the center. Yeah, a little closer to the, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Front of the little docking area. Actually, technically, we should put it, bring it inside the uh, the small shipyard, but the Leviathan's here. I can bring it inside the front. Okay. But I think oh, the, the, the right, here. Here, right where I'm at, in the where the bay is, this little docking bay. I think it's in here. There's a teleporter. Hi, Logan. Ah, I'm flying. I face through the ship. Further away. Well, yeah. Let me let me come to, close to the Wi-Fi because that ought to yeah it's over here, right? Right over the solar fine. panel. Right here ought to be within the Wi-Fi entirely. Yes. I already popped off the radar. Can you use the step in the Wi-Fi? Uh oh, to the inventory bowl. That was probably because someone was in the small shipyard recycling bin. There. I'm connected now. I'm linked up to it. Yep, I'm connected to it now. And you want to click the remove blocks into it. Okay. Retrieve, retrieve blocks. At 12 o'clock. Uh, yeah, retrieve oh. blocks. But be sure you're... I can't access my inventory. Say what? I can't access my inventory when I'm like that. Go 
Whoops. Okay. So retrieve blocks, right? Yep. Yeah, right click at uh, 12 o'clock. And we're just going to tear the whole thing apart, making sure that all the blocks are going into the recycling bin so we can get, I don't know if it's 100% or m most of the resources back. I mean, if we're just putting it back in there, putting it in the recycling bin. I'm doing whole blocks, right? Yes. Should be 100 percent then yeah because you get in the whole blocks and then the recycling bin breaks them down into parts. oh right, right. yeah and, well uh, the the, de the deconstructor gets yeah and th there are two deconstructors so it works really fast place the tearing apart how well Are you sure? deconning right now say what is it already deconning right oh, now yeah. as we yeah. tear this yeah cool. it is be sure whenever you see a floating uh, device, whether it's a light or a sensor or something like that, be sure to go ahead and disassemble it or to, you know, grab it. Um, because if you don't, we may miss it and it'll just be floating there and we won't be able to find it. Because <laughs> it's tiny. Yeah. Oh, I got to charge it. Reload. Button is. Oh, I get zero. I get zero. Yeah, we've we've got some uh, multi uh, multi charges on us. Actually, I don't. All my multi charges are on the Leviathan. I have fifteen. I'm gonna go grab mine off the Leviathan. Can you grab some for me, please? Yeah, I'll give you some of the ones that I grab. I think, I'm thinking about recording Minecraft like really heavily. Yep, I've got 16 charges as well. If you put the charges in there by accident. Well, I intentionally put them in the, uh, in my locker. I just forgot to grab them. Uh, um, where did I put them? Hold on. I grabbed them, the but because of the way the Wi-Fi works, I don't think I put them into my inventory. <laughs> you know, so nice. if, if you have a uh, box other than your uh, player inventory on the left, and you open a box to move it to your player inventory and you fail to do so because the other one's still there? Uh, not really much of an idea what you're talking about. Here, I'm going to give you four charges. I'll give Actually, them three. Where do you go? Where do you go? Let me give... Yeah, let's give... Hello. Okay. Okay, here, here's some. Yo. And here's some more. Right here, bro. I it's a little hard right now. Okay. And then above you over here is another, right behind you is... Right here, right here. I put them in the put them in the uh, Wi-Fi thing. Oops. Where'd they go? It, it's possible if the thing is completely empty. It's possible that they de that it deconstructed them. I have five. Oh, there's still tons of stuff in there. 
Yeah, I figured it would be. I delete you. Haha. <laughs> I just deleted your seat. You've seen us through many good, th many good times. I bid you farewell, CV. Yep, it was only a temporary CV until we got the Leviathan up and running. Anyway, so that's what it's meant for—is to be a middle tier uh, capital vessel. I didn't like it because it's it's just like the starter base we had it. Yep. But it flies. Yep. I cut it in two. It's like a combination of everything that the starter base had. You know. And there is a base Plus the there is a base version of this that's just a base that you can build, put down on a planet, and use it as your base, you know. It's just the tier one command base. The tier two being the capital vessel. This thing has no power, right? Uh, it it very little. It should be running out any minute. It's off anyway. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, walkers. This is not going to take long. Lift down the middle. Yep, now it's split down the middle. Just don't take out the core yet. I'm going ahead and getting the devices around the core. But if you take out the core, we won't be able to pull up the full blocks. Uh, I'm not even sure where it is. I haven't seen it yet. It's right here next to me, so be careful. I'm going to try to get everything around it so that it's clearly visible and away from other things that might be grabbed. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, okay. Yep, it was over here with the generators and the uh, fuel tanks and the... I thought it was more central. No. Like under the bridge or something, but... No, it was in the engineering compartment that you could barely access, so. What kind of generator did this have anyway? A couple tier ones? Yeah, it, it had uh, several uh, uh, tier one large generators, the three by ones. Oh, okay. I think it had four three by one generators. So. Right, the core is okay for the so. Yes. Yep. Don't touch it. All these damn little sensors and LEDs. I know, sign. right? <laughs> but they were useful when this was our base, you know, telling us where things were and what things were and lighting up the place and everything. But now, now it's just like annoying trying to make sure you got them all. Hey, uh, I forgot. You had moved building, move cap, made like, made like a cast or some stuff in Minecraft, right? Yeah. You've had to move, right? Move them, move between a few of them, right? Mm, usually I stop playing after a while before I really have to move anywhere. There's also been times I played Nomad, where I just build barely hardly anything and just move around.
Well, the and game has changed a lot now. So, like, if you have a base that you've established, you get you get base attacks essentially. Yeah, and you can play shulker boxes and just. Now that we have a capital vessel, that's basically what we're going to be doing is uh, is going from you know one place to another. Not really. Inventory's full. Why is the inventory full? I'm not in it. All right, everybody, hold off. Hold off on getting things for a second. Some, it's not. Somebody. I'm in it. It is near full. I was just checking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let the construct the deconstructors do their job, and then we'll come back to de disassembling this. Um, if you have anything floating, just wait a couple seconds and try picking up again. Yeah, the stuff's should. being picked. I'm going ahead and picking up the stuff, so that's fine. Our core is floating. Is that bad? No, the core no, I mean, floating is fine. I mean, little little boxes that are floating because it dropped in front of you because you couldn't hold it. You should be able to pick them up if they're if they're floating right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on the uh, deconstructors. Yeah, they're they're deconstructing. It's just taking them a while because they got to the uh, the hardened steel blocks, which uh, takes a good amount. If you move them back, if you move them down, then they'll the priority will change. Yeah. Like make a whole bunch of like one one stack stacks yeah, and then they'll fill up my bottom. Well, I put the hardened steel blocks at the at the back of the line, so everything else that mm -hmm. we grab should go f above it, and uh, they should be able to deconstruct yeah, it we, quickly. When that stack when that stack fills, it'll after it gets to four thousand, it's going to do another stack, and that'll go to the top. So make a couple of one one stack stackers. Uh, it shouldn't get to four thousand. There's not that many blocks on the thing. It's only okay. at, it's all, it's barely at five hundred right now. Okay. So we should be what good to continue deconstructing. We will keep in mind that these blocks are SU that's keeping us from doing it, not not number of items. So. Um, if you want to, we might have to, uh, hold off a bit, grab the devices that you can and, uh, hold off on the blocks. Okay. Be right back, guys. Okay. Extensions are technically devices, right? Yes, but they uh, have the same SU as a full block, so... Okay. Yeah, because it's full again, so hold off. Like I said, grab just the very small items like lights and switches and stuff. Rails. Rails, things that don't take up a lot of SU.
ramp didn't fit. All right, I think every almost everything else is just like a steel block. So uh, there's turrets and thrusters still. No, the sentries. Oh yeah, there are sentries that we can. There's a light. And oh, thrusters. Yeah. yeah. Thrusters take up a good amount of SU. Sentry shouldn't be too bad, though. Looks, looks like all the ones in the back are picked up. Yeah. All, the all right, let's wait for the uh, thing to finish what it's working on right now. All the stuff it's got in it right now. Any doors left? Elevators? I think, I think we got all those. The textures make me think it's a device. I'm gonna find my phone. It... There's a light or a sensor. I'm watching them, uh, wa watching the left constructor as it deconstructs, seeing what's going down and coming out. I'm watching the right one. <laughs> Look at all that good material that we've got back so far. It's coils for days. Well, 20. We got 20 flux coils. We got, you know... 40 of the Zascosium alloy, which is really nice, plus some Arrestorman Zascosium. We should be good on resources for a good long while because... Where did uh, the Promethean come from? Was it the Teleporter? No, Teleporter's still in there. Um, the Promethean may have come from uh, when he accidentally threw some of his uh, uh, multi-charges into there. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> because when he threw them in there, it would go to the first slot because it's empty because that's where they start from working. So. I need a radiation boost. Let's slap one of those on. I don't know if there are any more. No, there's. Well, <laughs> even if there aren't, we can go buy some because. Actually, there aren't any more. I know there's not. I'm going to go buy you some from the trading station. Okay. You want just one? Yeah, I got room for one more boost. Well, no, I have to use a different one. But yeah, one. Yeah, that's why I'm using a medium armor, so I can have the EVA, yeah, the, the EVA, a radiation boost, and a uh, oxygen boost. Yep. Right now, I'm just using EVA and oxygen. I'll go back to the Leviathan and grab my medium. You get a radiation boost from my birthday. That was yesterday. It's funny that these, uh, these, uh, what do you call them? The merchants on here aren't giving us a discount because. Well, because they are from an older version. Uh, I'm bad set. Do you need any other boosters while I'm here or just that one radiation boost? Armor. All right. Uh, how many do you need? Probably two. I have, an, I have a multi already and probably that's it. I don't know if I can remember how to get to that room. I don't know if I can remember who actually sells the armor boost. I think interweb. 
Uh, yep, armor boost. You said two? Yes. Teleporting back to the Leviathan. Aiming right now, no at all. Give me the teleporters right here. <laughs> I went ahead and put them in your uh, thing. No. Sweet. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yep, yep. Wait. I'm damaging the blocks instead of picking them up. Uh, if, if they have a if they have enough uh, health, you'll have to damage them before picking them up. Yeah. It'll it'll only damage them a little bit, and then you can pick them up once they're well. Like if they're partially damaged, and then you fully pick them up, they'll fully pick up. The container extensions takes like two or three hits. With yeah. The, uh, multiple. Uh, so you're fine. You're getting the whole blocks, I'm sure. Yep. All right, we should be able to continue trying to pick things up. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm heading back. I'm going to use a teleporter to get back to the... Get, get back the, to the... Um, vehicle? Can't. Should I? No, I don't want to turn it on and waste power. Okay. No, it's it's. Okay. It doesn't exist anymore. I picked it up. Why does it say it's full? Hold on. No, I'm not it. That's weird. There's this. It's not letting me pick up anything. Oh, because I'm not connected to that box. Duh. I still am. I forgot to reconnect after I came back from... Mm, you teleported. Yeah. yeah. Now you got stuff in your inventory then, right? Yeah, that's why I'm like, why can I not pick these up? Because they were in my inventory, not in the uh, constructor or deconstructor inventory. This is a lot of blocks. Oh, yeah. I think this was near 2,000 blocks, something like that. Maybe a thousand-ish. I don't remember. <laughs> 